a very good morning friends today we are about to learn the first topic in the advanced excel training which is the pivot tables now we have heard a lot about pivot table but what exactly is a pivot table so as per the definitions you get on the internet it is said to be a table of statistics that summarizes the data of a more extensive table what does this mean is that if you see the word pivot and table the table part is pretty much clear but what is pivot so pivot is nothing but a a joint or a set of condition on which something changes so pivot table comprises of multiple filters the main is categorized between uh, rows and columns and then on different sets of conditions that we can apply and we call these conditions in the pivot table as filters so when we have a large amount of data for example if we take a data of the currently available covid database which is available if you visit covid19india.org if you visit the website you will get a statistical data about Uh, the entire current situation about india so if i to show you the exact what i mean uh, about the database is that if you open the website <clears throat> so what you see here entirely is a representation of the data which is available in a table format so for example if this website would have looked something like this so if this is the database that we are handling if this database is displayed as is on the website of anywhere you will not be able to understand exactly what's happening right so this is my master data and even i summarize this into you know in a more informative way in a more tabular way we need help of pivot tables now this database i have uh, taken it down and uh, i have copied it on my excel sheet so it looks something like this so if you see so these are the rows and these are the columns that we have so we have a representation of approximately 71617 that is 71617 cells of data that is to be displayed now as is this data is very much difficult to understand right you need to go you need to see and if you want to see about a particular state you would have to you know just apply a filter and then you know select the district or select the state that you want for example say let's let's take uh, let's take west bengal now if you see about the west bengal see i'm having to scroll down right i have to see the total number of registered cases somewhere it is around 116 right so let me clarify this database is updated till 10th of april i guess i updated that on that day so it does not include this is just let's consider it as an example data not to be taken as the actual facts or actual data all right so now if you see that this is the entire about the west bengal so now out of 116 or oh sorry uh, how many 116 we have very much uh, we do not know about the uh, the other states or other uh, districts or cities within kolkata But even in the detected city now i don't want to see the blanks because with the blanks i don't know where they are from where the data is from so if i remove the blanks here i get to see that with city i only have 12 uh, patients which are registered okay so now if i want to you know put it in a way wherein everyone or anyone who sees it it is very much understandable and easily readable so what i do i apply pivot table now to apply pivot table we go to insert and then we click upon pivot table over here so there are this since this is a office 365 version you have multiple options available but the generic option that will be available across all the excel versions is when you go to insert tab and then you click on pivot table it will ask you for a given range now what is the range a range is something which defines your data set now data set i have is right from a1 and i press control shift and i go right side it is still s that is my last column i again press control shift and i press the down arrow 
to go to the last available cell which is 6884 after taking that I click on OK so now it displays me the area of pivot table so as I said we have two main things which is rows and then columns and then we have filters and then we have values now rows is something which we will be displaying over here columns are something which we will be filling it individually here filters is something on the basis of which this pivot table will change and values is something which we would take the total out of it so if we remember what I did here was I first put up a filter in the filter I selected the state to be West Bengal which means that my state is my filter okay so I come back to my pivot table and I select state so state is my filter so if I see the state it is all here okay and then I selected this city as my uh, main visibility so I wanted to see that out of the blanks which cities are available so here I go and in the rows I select city because this is my visibility and then how many cases are there so the number of cases what I see here if this is suppose this is the age bracket so suppose I want to see what is the total age okay if I wanted to see what is the total age it would be somewhere around 570 but if I want to know the count like how many people are there it is count the count comes out to be 12 right so if we want to know the count remember this if we want to know the count we need to select count if we need to know the total we need to select sum so since we want to know what is the count of the people who are admitted so for Kolkata if you see if we sort this A to Z okay since there are much cell phone so if you see Kolkata 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 so there are four patients of Kolkata under the city of Kolkata right so we are seeing we are looking at a count of Kolkata so now when we take the city and then we drop in the values we see the count of detected city which means we are on the right track okay if I want to go to some other state probably I'll have to defilter it again filter it then go back to the state select suppose Maharashtra then I want to see what is the uh, count of Nagpur so suppose Nagpur so this probably will take a longer number of time if I want to view state wise okay because there are many filters that we need to put in so just to summarize everything we have created this pivot table now all we need to do is we just need to take the state or just enter the punch in the state or select the state so if I select now West Bengal I can simply see what's the condition I can just select and it will give me so this doesn't have so if I go here this has state wise uh, sorry city wise so similarly if I just you know want to know what is the state condition I'll just I'll just remove the city so I can do two things either I can untick this or I can just click and push it out and now I just want to see state wise so if I click take the state wise put it under rows it will give me a state wise count so if you see the website here this is nothing but this so if you see they have now further segregated between confirmed active recovered and deceased so when you have uh, certain columns what is the current status so if you see in the current status current status has the drop down or you can see the filter as what is being displayed here okay <clears throat> so what we will do is we will change the way the pivot table looks now if you see the sample data so every row has the state name so we got our row correct we have the state names but columns are different so they are confirmed active recovered deceased so we only have the count of detected city which is the count of confirmed cases but we need a further segregation 
So if we look at the raw data, it is available here about the current status. In the current status, you have deceased, hospitalized, migrated, and recovered. We want the columns to look in this format. So we have confirmed, we have active, we have recovered, and then we have deceased. So we have to arrange the columns in this way. So we click on the pivot table, and now we see that the, the column area is blank now. So in the column area, we will put in the status. So if you see here, deceased, hospitalized, migrated, recovered, and we don't need blank, and then the total number of cases. So what we would do is we would remove the blank first things first, and from here also we would remove the blank. So now the data is free from the blank cells. Okay. Now we need to arrange it in a way. So the grand total we can call it confirmed cases. Okay. Actual cases is the ones which are hospitalized. Migrated cases is something that we can just omit it as of now. Recovered we have and then we have the deceased. So let's arrange. So first we had a confirmed case. So if we are to arrange since see this is a grand total column now you have to remember one thing grand total columns cannot be moved it can either be omitted you can remove them you can just click here you can remove them but you cannot move them here and there okay so let's see confirmed is here let's put uh, actual here then the deceased just here and migrated let's put the migrated here so migrated actual recovered disease somewhat you can see that the data that we have prepared is looking like what we want to so sorting you know how to do it so see migrated is not that much of a count so we can just remove the migrated one if you remove the migrated one just put here states so just if you do know if you just remove the migrated one i guess you would get the data not just properly collate it and you have a perfect looking data that summarized that is summarized from this to this now if you see you are able to view this long table n number of things which are present here you can just make such big table get summarized into just a small table or just a cluster or a very specific you know very much data oriented table and you have a visibility on the raw data which you had earlier so now if you say suppose you want to see like what is the gender ratio so similarly what we can do is uh, we go to show feed list and <clears throat> we take out the current status because we don't need that. Now count of the detected city can be renamed as confirmed cases because those many confirmed are there in that. So <clears throat> if you go here, if you just take, now I don't need state, I remove the state. I just put uh, take gender, I put it here. So you can see that. So the, you can see that female are so so many cases, males are so many cases, and unconfirmed cases are these many. Again, with unconfirmed, I cannot do anything. I don't know if it's a male or a female, so I'll just omit that. So this is how it is. Now, if you want to, you know, further take something, suppose say ratio. So what is the ratio? So ratio would be nothing but the confirmed cases is equals to P4 divided by the total number of cases which is p6 now i am to fix this p6 so i will go with f4 now it is fixed so this is my ratio about the cases that i have i format this to percentage so this is the percentage so now the analysis says that out of the given data the chances of male getting the virus is higher than the chances of female 
so see these are the types of uh, data summarization that can be done using pivot tables so there are a lot more that you can do so you can see that there is a type of transmission also available here so if i just remove the gender i delete this and i want to see type of transmission so you see that we have imported 365 cases okay local transmission is 364 cases and to be decided and blank is again nothing so if we are going further you can drill down further into it you can drill further down as to what state and what district has it and you can get a complete check on the data that you have which we will do now so this is something which is known as a single pivot table now what is a nested pivot table so nested pivot table is nothing but a pivot table which has multiple values summarized based on the number of rows what does this mean is the very obvious question so if i look at this data suppose i want to know or i want to see that what is the status of transmission type in say maharashtra so again what will i do i will select the state and i will put it in filters okay now i go to the filters and then i select maharashtra i click maharashtra and then i press enter so this is the status of maharashtra i want to see about west bengal so i go to west bengal and i click okay so this is the about this is the state of west bengal what if i want to see it district wise probably what we will do we will put the district here and we get the same thing but remember one thing we are summarizing a data we are not making it a pivot sorry we are not making it a kind of a filterized table because filters we can apply here as well we just filter this data and then we drill down as much as we want summarization sees a practical easy view a view which is easy to see a view which is easy to get understand and digest so in this kind of a situation what comes to help is our nested pivot table so with the nested pivot table we can have a glance about state district city wise based on the confirmed cases now we take an actual uh, actual picturization of a something so let's say you want to do gender based city and state wise summarization okay so let's clear everything right so this is clear now as is i want uh, the total number of patient so i will take the confirmed cases as it is so it is showing as 915 let's see first if this is what sorry so we take a data which is filled from top to bottom and doesn't have a space in between so there are see there are no continuous data which determines the total number so we'll just go with what we have basically just to get the idea okay so now what as we said that i want state wise so first i would take state select all so it is now giving me everything and then i want city wise so i'll take the city and i will put it on rows so now you see that under maharashtra which has 162 these are the states that are having the confirmed cases as such under state i want to know the gender so now you are understanding this is level 1 drill okay let's see from here this is level 1 drill that is first filter that we are seeing is state we applied a filter on state then we applied a filter on city 
and then we apply the filter on gender if you want to do the same in a given table what we would do we would put a filter here post putting a filter we would go for state in the state we will select maharashtra in maharashtra we see here the city and even in this view you will not get because this is completely misarranged and if you are to arrange it will not let you arrange because it is a you know it has some uh, merge cells which this kind of an anomaly we have already discussed in the earlier versions or the in the earlier tutorials that is your basic and mid level so if you have not seen or gone through those tutorials please go through them because that has all these things explained why it is not filtering out or why is it not taking into the uh, filters why it is giving certain error everything has been explained so you are understanding what difficulty i am facing in getting the data out of it so if i want to check about pune i have to manually go with this it is not possible for a data which has so many elements in it so instead we turn towards the pivot table which gives us the data that we want the summarization that we want even though it is understandable we wanted to have a further clear view now what does this mean that in tamil nadu in annanagar we have one mail in annamalai we have five mails in aruvalur we have one female infected in begampur we have four male so this is understandable but it is not presentable so how to make present how to make it more presentable so we in the pivot table we have the format of viewing which we can set so how to set the format of viewing is we can first have state here then we can go with city or district whatever it is and then we have gender and there when we have confirmed cases okay so this is how we can put the data so we have all these data with us over here but it is just the matter of formatting that we need to do so when we want to format in this way it means that from this super table we are viewing the state as one table then city or district as another table gender as another table and confirm cases as the values so we go here we click on the pivot table and we click the drop down of state we go to field settings and then under layout and print we select show item labels in a tabular form once done it separates once again we do the same for city so we go for city field settings layout and print and then show item labels in tabular form it again gives it same with the gender we go here we go to layout and print and we select this and then okay so now it is exactly as we wanted however if you see it is still displaying the totals out here and again here for these totals we need the total because state wise total is obviously required but we don't need these totals okay we don't need these totals so what we will do we will right click and then uncheck the subtotal detected city once done it gives me the exact type of data that i was searching for so in tamil nadu annanagar one person one case which is male same here annamalai five confirmed cases five of them are male if you see here in chennai we have one female and seven males similarly over here we have one male and one female so now this data is more sort of presentable data anyone who is viewing this data will be able to understand what it is still we don't want the blanks so we will uncheck the blanks so now you see all the blanks have disappeared
further formatting in pivot table if you want to format a particular field or a particular entity so entity by entity what i mean is if i check this so state and count is an entity right all the cells selected are entity because 103 cases for tamil nadu it is understandable if you click here it will only say one case in ananagar so this is a particular entity that we are discussing in total since the total is an entity of the total number of cases every total that you have is highlighted so if you want to color code this you can just do that all at once so just select a color and that will be applied for all all of them see all the totals are now highlighted and color coded now if you want to send the data or share the data you can do that it's now completely easy just copy copy this entire thing and just paste it somewhere so see it is the same data that we had there and now it is free from the pivoting so this is a normal data that you can send or paste or display whatever you want to do so now under pivot table if you want to check what is the entries of this tamil nadu only so there are two options one again you go back to the raw data and you filter or second you just double click the number of tamil nadu so if i click on this 103 it will again display me all the data that is available under tamil nadu so the state the state will only be tamil nadu see here getting it once again if i want to see for maharashtra i just double click this and it will give me the details of only maharashtra so this is the power of pivot table that it basically summarizes all of your data at one place so that you don't have to go here and there for the same data okay so haven't i created this pivot table i feel you understand that i always have to be visiting this sheet one to go for the numbers that i want so this is particularly in an example of this covid-19 data that you don't have such dependencies of going back to the raw sheet but say for example it's a restaurant business and for the restaurant business i hope you understand that there are multiple cuisines that you need to have data of there are multiple segments of the customer that you cater cater to so viewing those data in a drill down view is what very much easy when you have a pivot table run on a set of data once this is done you can easily look at any of the data that you want to see and you don't have to run here and there within the same sheet so if you see uh, if i want to see that who is this patient so if the details are available there are two ways now i just click on this number 1 and i get the detail or i just click double click on this sorry i double click on the last stretched data last drilled data last filtered data here the last filtered data that i have is gender so if i click on the gender it will give me the fields to add more filters to it so if i now click on date and also whatever i want to see i want to see the age i click on age bracket so it will apply the age bracket everywhere okay so wherever i was seeing i was seeing for here see the age is not entered so what i would do is basically i it is best that i click uh, on the number and i get the data as i want so if i click this so i'll know the entire history about this particular person <clears throat> so this is how a pivot table is useful in order to summarize the data that you have provided the data is in a continuous manner and there are no breakage between the data what i mean by breakage is if you put a space here see if i put a space here so if you see that there is a break over here so how you determine a break you press the control and then you go from left to right now see it 
directly stops on the last column that is available so over here the column r is available post that there is a break and then there is again t so continuation of data is not there now when you come here and filter this table it will give an error because we have a break in the data flow so since there is a break here it will give you the error now if you remove this break and go back and refresh it will directly refresh the data now those who are having office 365 and those who are having office version above 2017 there is an added advantage in pivot table which is known as the slicer now slicer are nothing but the buttons to filters so here i can little bit easier the table by taking the state and dragging it here so i can detect the state if i am not that dependent upon this state i can just put it here so that people can you know just select take and view the data but what if i provide them buttons to buttons for it so to insert buttons for the filters which is known as uh, slicers we go to analyze or first we click on the pivot table then go to analyze and then click on insert slicer so once you click on insert slicer it gives you the options to choose the filter that you want to have so i wanted the state and i click ok now see it will give me buttons to choose the state just go to options increase the column width by two now you have the data available in a tabular form on in a button form so simply click the button and see you get the data here so you see that whenever i'm clicking on anything the cells are auto arranging okay so to avoid that we right click on the pivot table go to pivot table options and deselect the auto fit now whenever you click the cells will not rearrange themselves so now you see whenever i am clicking as a button it works as a button it is much more easier for anyone to see and understand all you need to do is just right click sort this data largest to smallest and whenever you click on it it will display it will display the data in the format you want to view it this is very this is a very helpful feature in pivot table it is considered to be one of the most power one of the most power tool in pivot table so this is how you are viewing the data on the pivot table if you click on the cross on the selection cross yeah it will automatically reselect all the data so this is the part one of pivot table in the next part we would learn operations on pivot table then how to add a value field value field which does which is not available in the raw data this basically works with formulas how to have a common filter for two or more pivot tables this is done with slicers and then we would learn inserting graphs to pivot table So guys this database is freely available on the website that i showed you i will also mention the website on the show notes of this video you can go to the website download this data and make your own pivot table to understand the various aspects and various uh, possibilities of working on a pivot table so with this i conclude today's topic of pivot table part 1 please ensure that you practice because excel requires practice without practice 
advanced excel will never be constant in your brains it will just wash away with time with this i end please stay safe stay healthy and stay at home thank you